Hey guys, welcome back to another video on VP Concepts. An audio file in Seattle and we are still in Seattle. Um, I wanted to, this video is going to be in a couple different parts, but I wanted to start it tonight, Sunday night. Just got back from the Seahawks game. We took a tough loss. Um, and uh, again, I keep going to these damn games and yelling my voice out. So I got to make sure I do my videos before I lose it, lose my voice completely. But hey, it's a wonderful night. And I wasn't sure if I was going to do a video on this topic because I am uh, setting myself up for some vulnerability here because um, I'm not a technician. I'm not an installer. I don't have test equipment for room acoustics and stuff like that. But I really have been listening to you guys on um, your comments. And boy, some of, them, some of them have been pretty damn mean and rude. But most of you guys are, are, are you know, uh, full of great information and feedback and I understand that I've been needing room acoustics in here and I've been fighting it because it's a small room I rent here. I don't own this. I may be moving. My lease is up in four months. I'm not sure where I'm going to go and um, you know setting up some kind of big installation on the back wall is not my thing but I did uh, compromise and um, what I did guys is if you're you probably don't remember uh, it's been a, been a while, but I got these Rhino uh, panels here, and these were on the back wall. I had all these installed on the back wall at one point, and uh, what I ended up doing is, is you know, these are not uh, diffusers, they're absorbers, and I just threw them up on the back wall to see what would happen, and oh my gosh, man, it just sucked the life right out of the music. It completely dulled it and took all the air and, uh, you know, out, out, of the, out, out of the performance. So I ended up uh, repurposing, it, repurposing them, which is perfect. They were just enough for the door. And so now um, out, out in the hallway, um, when I play my music, I can walk out there and it's totally quiet before you could hear it, you know, a good 12, 15 feet out in the hallway. So now my neighbors thank me. But um, what, I did get, got, uh, what I did get here, guys, is um, I got these. And these are diffusers. And uh, these will go on the wall um, behind the speakers. Uh, I don't really have anything, any treatments I need over here because, you know, obviously there's a whole kitchen and everything else. But over here, you know, what I'm probably going to end up doing is just putting, you know, uh, one here, one down there, uh, two here on the, on the back behind the speaker. Um, and uh, basically just kind of, you know, cover this, cover this wall. Uh, I've, on, I've only got eight of them. I, I just wanted to try it out, you know, uh, uh, but basically this corner here is what's giving me the grief as far as vocals kind of blurring or getting some echo, uh, not even echo. I would say bounce. The echo is not bad because I have the uh, pull down shades that go over these two windows. Um, so, um, uh, you know, with that cloth, I don't get anything off the windows, but I do get some bounce coming off this corner of this wall here. So I'll put two uh, there, two there. Um, I'll put two over on this side and then I'll probably put one, uh, over my, uh, or behind the sub. But anyway, um, uh, what we're going to do is I'll end up playing a, a song without it and then we'll play a song with them and then we'll be able to really hear and they'll, they'll obviously be a vocals I'll play so we can hear the voice. And we're just going to do an experiment. Like I said, I don't have test equipment. I'm not measuring where every first reflection is out, you know, in, in, in the front of the speaker. I'm just simply doing the back wall to get the slight uh, bounce I'm getting that causes the voice to kind of, you know, phase in and out. It's just never been quite solid. When I do get it quite solid, um, it, it ends up, the whole performance is just kind of like sharp or too, too detailed and edgy. And I, I don't like that. I want some warmth and bloom to the performance. So, um, you know, the still points, as much as I do love them, they, they, they're they a band-aid for fixing the room acoustics, right? And just a heads up on, on from last month's video, guys, while I got you here. Um, I did end up putting the still points back in the system. Um, you know, it was such a fun video to do on the different... Uh, you know, pucks and, and, and cones and different st stuff like that and hearing the sound differences. But after a couple days, I just, I'm spoiled. The still points are too good. So what I did is I actually took everything out one by one, put them under each piece of equipment. And for 16 hours, you know, that whole freaking morning to night, I would listen and readjust them and just dial them into where 
um, you know, I had that impact, that attack. And once that was set in, I would go to the next piece and the next piece and the next piece. It took me a week, just one full day with each component, moving the still points around to get them set where, where everything, nothing was lost. And, and it turned out really nice. So um, I'm actually redoing uh, a lot of my CDs and my cassette player uh, uh, because now that everything's dialed in, the recordings are better. Uh, I, even the CD player, which I never touch, but I actually went into the CD player still points too and got it dialed in to where now the headphone amp sounds beautiful and the system sounds beautiful. And that's why I went ahead with this acoustic upgrade because now I want to get the room dialed in in the back. And then again, this is just to tame the slight bounce I was getting um, in the vocals. Instruments sound full and beautiful and excellent, man. It's just those vocals, that center image won't quite stay. It almost sounds like it's going in, going in and out of phase a little bit. It's just got that that bounce between between the closet and that corner or something. You know, obviously I don't have a lot of room here. Really high ceilings and all the walls are, are, are like going off in different angles. There, there's no straight freaking walls in here, which is drives me crazy, but it's actually great for room acoustics. And I've got, you know, a good distance behind the speakers too and on the sides. Um, this one's a little bit compromised, but with the, with the uh, cloth down, it absorbs anything that would, you know, bounce off the window. So it's just me sharing with you guys a before and after audio of what the room sounds like with and without panels. Um, obviously, you know, I, I probably should have more, I do the whole damn wall, right? But um, if this works, I may end up getting more. And I'm also gonna get one for back here. I'll probably order just a couple more, just to put one uh, right here um, between the speakers here too, because that diffusion really, I know does make a difference and everybody's telling me that. So we're gonna have some fun and uh, I'll, we'll get to the audio demonstration right now. Okay guys, we hit a little bit of a snag. Um, in the week that I shot the first video there showing you the room treatments, my poor electric company at had a disc read issue. I've been using her two years now, over two years, hours of listening pleasure. As you see, we have something else in here. My old Meridian 506 from my earlier videos back in the day. Um, the electric company, it's gonna go back for a tune up, no big deal. Um, got her packed up uh, almost, got everything out to, to ship her. But um, uh, this is going to have to take its place as a transport going into the, uh, the DAC, the ECM-1 uh, electric company at. So uh, it's close. It, it does a very admirable job. I love this baby girl. That's why I haven't sold her. She's my, my old uh, uh, workhorse from England. I love this thing. Um, I do have it uh, plugged in with all the same stuff as before. Let me see if I can get around to show you. I have the, uh, I have the Sol Kimber Select cable and the uh, Kimber uh, Palladium power cord over here. So it's, it's hooked up with the same in interconnects that I had before. I still have her on still points as well, but there is a little bit of a difference. It's not as uh, weighty. So this uh, recording that I always use, um, grab me the CD over here. You know, this is the one I got from Kimber Cable years ago when I worked at a store. Uh, uh, Ray Kimber had him in there for an SACD. You can get these maybe on eBay or Amazon. I don't know if Kimber has any left. Maybe if you buy something through them, they'll, they'll give you one. But um, th this is the, the CD that doesn't get me demonetized, so I always use it. But, uh, you know, it's not gonna be as same as the electric company yet, but the whole point of this video is showing before and after room treatments and if we hear a difference. And she still sounds very pleasing, so, you know, but she is a little bit thinner on this particular uh, CD. Maybe it's because it's an SACD hybrid, but it doesn't come in as weighty as some of my other CDs. But again, I, I won't get demonetized. And you guys really seem to like the CD when I play it in my different videos. So we'll do the vocal track. And then um, I'll come back and show you guys the room treatments installed. And then we'll, we'll do an AB on the recording I'm making right now. We'll do an AB um, back to back on playing it without room treatments and with. Okay, but I wanted to give you guys an update. Let's, matter of fact, let's come over all together and say goodbye to her. Here she is. She's going to get packed up and go back. Um, rarely have her. Out of the out of the rack, so you can't see her. But packed up the the puck and everything else to go back for repair. Here's the box. I kept it with all the styrofoam and everything to make sure that when I packed it, I had everything. 
but yeah, I'm kind of sad about that, but at the same time, it's nice to get the old girl back in the rack. So um, with that, we will catch you in a second. Just wanted to give you this update. Okay, guys, it is the next day, and I have taken time to install the uh, acoustic, what do you call them, panels, squares. <laughs> um, they turned out really nice. They're actually very good looking. I did put a, a, a foam one down there in the very middle because I ran out of them and that actually worked really nice for behind the unit because you'll never see it. But uh, they go all the way across the wall. And again, guys, I, have, I don't have any equipment to test and measure and, you know, lasers to level everything, but I think it turned out really nice. It's pretty sexy. I'm actually really impressed with the looks of it, not just for what it's going to do for me sound wise, but it's very sexy. So aesthetically, very pleased. I did have enough to uh, put on this back piece here too, on the back uh, sidewall where I was getting most of that reflection. I think those two pieces there are really gonna make a big difference. Okay, so um, with that, now that we have the installation, we're going to play without, and then we're going to play with. Here we go.
pretty baby You sure to look good to me I said, oh, we pretty baby You sure to look good to me Won't you tell me, pretty mama Who can your great love be?
Okay guys, wow, for me in this room, I don't know if you guys will pick it up, but for me in the room, everything is much more focused, less smearing or blurring that I had before. The, the vocal was much more, uh, uh, you know, fleshed out in the middle and the instruments and everything just, it, it, wow, everything just like got in focus. There's less smear and blur. So um, I really do think that it was worth the effort. These things weren't that much guys. I'll, Put a link um, that I got them on Amazon, uh, Sound Assured. They were like, I don't know, 17 bucks for for uh, four of them. And I got uh, three boxes. So for the cost, it's ridiculous. I used 3M um, tape on them. So sorry for, my, sorry for my hand in the way there. So yeah, I mean, this was an experimentation to uh, uh, improve the room acoustics in here. You guys mentioned it so many times that I need to do it. Um, it was a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and for a big result, uh, music is much more focused, and, and I'm really going to enjoy this, especially when it comes to, you know, the instruments, echoing in the room and stuff, that really never bothered me, because it's like, you know, part of the room, but when you get those vocals in there, and you can hear, hear it going in and out, that blur, that bounce, it just really sucked, so this improved everything, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the journey. Um, uh, a couple more videos are uh, coming in the next couple months uh, that I already have, you know, slotted to do. So almost three years, I think, maybe even four. And somehow, once a month, I've got something to talk about or to share. And there's some exciting things in the pipeline. Now that my channel's growing, I'm getting my name out there. I'm having companies reach out to me. And still, I only review products that I'm going to buy or have in my system. But why not? Look at all the other channels that are getting product in and out that they can have the opportunity to experience where they wouldn't otherwise. And I get to share that with you. So the influence of the channel, as it grows, we may start getting other things in to share together. And I think that would be great. The more education we can learn together um, as an audio community, the better, right? So with that, guys, uh, I really enjoyed this. And uh, now I won't have to hear the naysayers say, get room acoustics anymore. Um, I do still want to get the uh, Synergistic Research uh, NFTs and put those in here next. So that, that there still will be more coming. But with that, guys, I really enjoyed doing the video for you. Take care now. Bye-bye.